This video brought to you by AppAcademy.com, a web development bootcamp located in San Francisco and New York City. Learn full stack web development with Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, React, Redux, SQL, and much more. Link in the description below. Code maintenance. It ain't sexy, but we do it all the time. The cohort here has a great article on code maintenance and how it works and uh, what you should be doing with your code. And I'm going to tell you all about my experiences as we kind of skim through here and what I've been dealing with for the past year. Check it out. All right, so this is done by Adiz Aziz, uh, my best pronunciation here. And, you know, it talks about this is pretty much what the bulk of our work is, is code maintenance. And I can attest to that. Uh, that's all I did the entire first year. So maintenance of code, we're going to do it all the time. So we should make sure that we're making it easy on ourselves and the people down the road and also the business. Uh, you can definitely be more proud when you know you've put some thought into that. Instead of just having CSS, it's SAS. And instead of just being SAS, it's SAS with the BEM model, uh, which is block element modifier, if you want to look into that. Uh, but that's just with CSS. Um, but this is important. You should be taking pride in your work. And it's going to be around for a long, long time. A long time. The person's code that I was working with had been there for about three or four years. That's how long. So the code that I'm putting in now could be about three or four years. Hopefully longer if it uh, works better because it is supposed to grow. Uh, because I've put that functionality in there. Uh, but, you know... Sometimes people just don't find the time, and that's what this uh, blog post is talking about here. Unfortunately, there's a lot of lazy programmers where they're they're just too busy. They, they say they're going to go refactor it later, and they don't. So with that regard, it's even more important to have a solid foundation to work upon. But then going back through and seeing where you can maybe group some things together or or factor out some things or partition some data, that's really important. And I do that all the time just because, hey, I... I've dealt with it and it's it's not good and it's it's not easy to do your job uh, so this is what's going to give you the best uh, outcomes and even if you do write new, new code chances are you're going to maintain that yourself for for a while down the road so uh, this article talks about improving it every day there is a book called clean code and it kind of talks about the Bo boy scout rule uh, leaving the code better than when you found it that's a great rule to live by, and I, I try to live by that every day. If I'm kind of stuck or I'm waiting for some approvals on some designs or some developments, I can go ahead and go through there and through some of my old code and clean it up. And I try to do that sooner rather than later so I have some sort of like frame of reference. And it's just, it's just so much nicer, guys. And guys and gals, uh, from my experience. And from his experience, you know, he's... He's talking about like, hey, you know, I learned a lot uh, about, uh, you know, code maintenance by going to school, being an intern, but mostly from work. And I'll tell you, that's that's where I got my experience from someone who, who coded it up. Then I had to work with it. And, you know, he works in uh, somewhere in Africa here, Nigeria, uh, the the uh, blog post writer here. Uh, definitely check it out. It's in the description. And if you're looking to get into uh, development or you're you're getting serious about it, check out App Academy. Uh, they're in San Francisco and New York. They have in-person boot camp, uh, but one of the big selling points with them is that they uh, allow you to pay most of your tuition after you get an actual job uh, within the industry, of course. So definitely check them out. They're in the description below. Have you dealt with any of this code maintenance stuff? Uh, how did you go about it? Um, what language was it in? Uh, let me know in the comments. If you like this stuff, be sure to give me some of these and subscribe if you haven't done so by now and hit the bell notification if you want to get an update every time I go ahead and post a video. All right, that's it for today. See you next time.